Hi everyone, I'd like to talk about the commercial real estate startup position I held here in Austin, Texas. And I wanted to give some context to the situation to help you better understand uh, what was going on. During that time, about March or April, I was finishing up Lambda School and Lambda School Labs, and I was looking for a job um, in another state. And I was hanging out in Monterrey, Mexico, so I wasn't really dependent on uh, a location per se. I was looking for somewhere new that I could go and explore and potentially uh, set up a home base. And so I had a lot of choices between different states like Texas, Colorado, um, maybe Utah, um, and some other ones I was considering. But I think Texas was always a primary choice for me because I have friends and family here as well as being closer to Central and South America. So that's why I kind of settled on that. And so I was job hunting online at the time. I was looking on LinkedIn jobs. I was looking on AngelList, Glassdoor, and most of the job posting websites. And I didn't have the option of actually going to in-person networking events because there, I didn't frankly didn't want a job in Mexico due to the pay grade and the potential to make more in the U.S. company. And so I luckily interviewed with this uh, job that I found on AngelList for a company called Tenavox, which is a small commercial real estate startup. And so I decided to interview with them and I went through their interview process, which was just talking to the president and then talking to the uh, software engineer or the tech lead there, and then eventually just landing the job. Um, if you'd like to know more about the process of how that happened, I did have another video that I talked about getting that job offer and I'll link in the bottom here so that you can see. And then what happened was I joined up with the company and I worked, it was planning um, for th a period of three months as a contract to start. And I started that in May, 2019. And the reason I started this position was that I wanted to try out a new town, a new city. And so Austin was one of the big tech towns here. Um, there was also Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio to consider, but they all have their various reasons, um, pros and cons as well, which I'll probably make in another video. So I took it in Austin just to see how the environment is here. And I heard it's a very friendly tech town, a lot of cool things to do. People are super laid back. And so I decided to go and just to check it out. It was a contract position, so I was only paid every two weeks so it wasn't like a salary position I didn't have any benefits per se and so I decided that it was just a good uh, thing to get my foot in the door here in the town and then perhaps like down the line I could find something at a meetup or other networking events um, since I'm already here in town and some of the job tasks that I had to do was basically build out an admin panel for the product owners to use in order to categorize and sort through different commercial real estate properties and then also you know building the authentication building the UI and all that sort of thing um, into this app and when I first signed on there were a lot of other pressing matters that I had to tend to so we focused on that for like I want to say a couple weeks before I actually got down to working on the app itself and so the workloads itself wasn't, uh, I guess it wasn't bad, but it was, uh, it was overwhelming at first, as any new developer will tell you coming into a company. There's just a lot of things that you have to set up, such as different apps, different environments, different um, the procedures that a company would have. So um, I had to set up my Ruby on Rails, I had to set up uh, all these different repos um, and tools like Docker, AWS, getting all the credentials and passwords. So it was a lot to take in at first because of all that setup, but slowly, you know, you get more comfortable and after the first month or two, you get more uh, familiar with what their apps are about. 
And so the primary technologies I used was basically Great React App, Node, Express, and Postgres database. And then there were a lot of other technologies sprinkled in that I had to familiarize myself, such as Ruby on Rails, Nexmo, uh, Cloudflare, Jira, and just a whole host of other ones that you'll find different with each company. And so the we used Create React App for a while and we had to actually transition over to Next.js for SEO benefits. And so not only did we change one app, we had to change two because the engine lead engineer wanted to keep it consistent in order for maintainability in the future. And so that's what happened. And I think most of the process of working there was, um, it was difficult since I had to pick up new things, but also just learning the DevOps side of things since we didn't have a dedicated DevOps team and then also doing a lot of design, we didn't have a good UI team either. So it's almost like you have to play uh, many roles, you have to wear many hats in order to get the job done. And I also had to do a lot of research in the meantime. And so I finished up my supposedly three month contract and then there was a contract extension to actually keep working on the same project. And it was for another three months to keep working and that finished up in September of 2019. And later, later after that, uh, another Offshore's team was brought on to work on the project due to the lead engineer um, transitioning to a new company. And so I couldn't work on the project just by myself. So they brought on this other Offshore's team to help out. And I was tasked with more bug fixes and small um, feature developments on other apps besides the one I was working on. So basically, I was doing that until about December. And I finished up with them. I told them that I was looking for a more stable position. Um, I had aspirations to um, get real estate here in Texas and had other um, goals, uh, life goals that I wanted to achieve. So I, I took a break from them. They, they did offer me the invitation to come back and work on them part time doing these small features and bug fixes. But I was thinking that it was more important for me to spend my time brushing up on algorithms, making projects, applying to more jobs. And that's basically my story about working at this startup. Um, there's a lot of other details that hadn't happened, but it's not, it's only a minor part of it. Um, and so now what I'm doing is I'm on the job hunt again, and I've been going to a lot of different meetups and connecting in person. Um, you'll find that job boards are kind of difficult to get your name your application to the top of the stack so i would prefer the face-to-face -face approach anyways i'm trying to keep this video short and that's all i have concerning my startup job here in austin texas if you have questions or comments please feel free to type below and i will do my best to uh, reply to them thanks so much for watching and i hope this has helped you gain perspective on your own job have a nice day